In this episode, we made the big move to New Zealand. Started off well, catching a few fish, finding this epic hot water beach before two cyclones hit us. But cyclones mean big swell. Welcome to New Zealand. Get off. Where's my headphones? Your head looks big in this angle. Now toast and sure the time. <laughs> Where's you? We need to get sim cards so we know where we're going. And then we need to go to the ocean, catch lobsters and find somewhere to sleep tonight. In our massive van. <laughs> gutter there and did a little foot twist and found some pippies so we quickly rigged up the rod maybe we can catch a little whiting hopefully probably not <laughs> but maybe use it for bait this is it yeah you still got it oh So we took the pippies down, put a little whiting set up on and um, loose, just randomly caught a blackfish in the middle of the beach. So we've cracked the duty free we bought. And... No ice. Yeah, no ice. We've got some potatoes on, gonna cook a little fishy up, but cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. <laughs> And cheers Longboard for just yeah. making us uh, leave the back door open and not be able to sit down and have a bed made up the whole time. Sunshines, waves. I'm annoying Lucy in the van, so I've been summoned to surfing. Dropping garage sale side of the road. Just what we needed to keep the sand out. And I was stoked because I use these at work. And I got a sick hat, a fishing knife that I forgot to buy. And Lucy was complaining about not having a wooden spoon this morning, so frothing. You got everything. 
all from the free park. We saw a little sign for hot water beach. Had a quick look on the net. Apparently there's something. Dig your own little lagoon Thirsty. on the sand and there must be some volcanic activity under it or something. I haven't even looked into it, I'm just guessing that. But we're just going down there now. Day number two, try and catch something for dinner on the beach because yesterday we did pretty well. Walk through the way. Christian's already run ahead. Get up, Lucy. I like the rain. How it's are we meant to do activities in the rain? It's cozy. It sucks. You can drink tea and read a book and listen to music. Plenty of moisture from the northwest. We have some places on warning already. This is over, and yeah. then as we head into intensity, 30 hours. Region, Why is an Irish lady doing the New Zealand the system, news? There's a lot of wind. You can't say stuff like that. What? I just said it. No. You can delete it. I'm not deleting it. it. Just sounds weird because I was expecting a funny Kiwi accent. But I got a funny Irish accent. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. We're going to be stuck in the van for like a week. In pouring rain. Am I annoying already? It's been like half an hour. What can we do? We have a second cyclone around New Zealand, which is great. It's going to rain for another week. We've been stuck in the van. We can't go outside. Lucy's brother lives up from the coast working and doing some kiwi picking. So we're going to have a van party. Bought a case of beer at the back and currently ordering pizza. Treating ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to head over to Piha to try and escape it. There was glimmers of hope, but it was a very wet and slow week. I'm just gonna trust where what you're saying. You never play. Kid through the valley, we walk through the fire. Your grace is amazing. I trust what you're saying. You never play. I know that you work every trial for good if I stay be patient I'm just gonna trust right what y'all saying You know the plan Kid through the valley, we walk through the fire, your grace is amazing I trust what you're saying You know the plan I know that you work every trial for good if I stay be patient Move up, yeah, you kicked them off, you put me up, yeah Darkness and shadows gon' fall in the battle, I think your kingdom is come, yeah I cannot run, yeah, surrender, you fill up my cup, yeah Reason to strive, yeah, you let me in the eye, I'll be your son, yeah I thought get that I was <laughs> going out my mind I was lost, but then you came and saved my life I had nothing, then you came and made it right I'm just gonna trust right what y'all saying. You know the plan. Kid through 
came through the valley, we walked through the fire Your grace is amazing, I trust what you're saying You never play. I know that you work every drop Feel good if I stay and be patient When I walk in the valley, yeah You're there with me, yeah Letting go words, letting go doubt, letting go fear, yeah My weakness strong when it's in your strength Just spent all weekend in Auckland looking at cars I sent a stupid message to a guy last night saying that because he got along with us and we remind him of his son and his girlfriend he should give us the car for 5000 with a mud cake so he's given us a $9,000 car for 5 grand which is pretty epic so we're on our way <laughs> to buy a mud go cake. pick it up and to buy a mud cake whatever and, that is and a mud cake never even heard of a mud cake mud cake, chocolate cake Mark's cake <laughs> oh, legendary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good, good, good. good, good. Like, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Come on, come on, Josh. Come on. So it didn't take long to do the car, but yeah, then we got into spear fishing for a few hours. Lucy was stoked. But it's kind of handy, like, say you, you come across a good snapper yeah. and you pin it and it just gives you that little bit of leeway. Yeah, so. sure. <sighs> New car. Rocking. Little travel wagon. Little? It's massive. Big travel wagon. <laughs> Team got the rear seat. We were stoked. We loaded up and drove that night. But then in the middle of the night, we're climbing this big mountain pass here. And the whole transmission fluid blew out. <laughs> it's been a pretty bad few days. A car broke down straight away. I've just been scrapping around. We got, could have started our job, but then we didn't have a car, so we couldn't get to work. But things are turning around. We did a work induction this morning. Now I've um, got a bus all the way in to Matamata where we left the car. And apparently I can drive it home. It's, um, yeah, it doesn't sound like too much was wrong with it at all in the end. It just shot out all its transmission fluid and there's only a small part that needed fixing. So. Hopefully it makes it over this big mountain pass so I can get back to Mount Mag, um, the Sava, it's only about an hour away. And then yeah, start work on Sunday and things are looking up. Also got another job offer in Nelson which hopefully works out. So, you Definitely going surfing tomorrow. Yeah! <laughs> Made it over the mountains! Oh, that is actually a relief. Uh, now we're going to test the car out a little bit more. He said to drive it around and see if it happens again, but that is a good start. It's made up that huge mountain range. Eww. Shout out to Matt from the Mount. He um, drove in that night and picked us up with all our gear. We were just moving into his house and he hadn't even met us yet and he went out of his way to help us. He's an absolute legend, so cheers, mate. Stick around for next week. That cyclone not only bought rain, but bought some huge swells. So we scored that. I also got the worst job I've ever done in my entire life. I'll see you then. Ow.